Okay, I'm going to pull out of the parking lot here at Oklahoma Valley High School. This is one of my favorite places, Braves Lane. It's got this beautiful mural on the on the wall here for Oklahoma Valley High School. And uh, I just love driving into work every day and seeing it. And, oh, hey, there's Mr. Batondo. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> Get on the distance learning bus. Come on along and learn with us. Distance learning is the place to be. Come on down to ECV. Get on the distance learning bus. Come on along and learn with us. Get on the distance learning Nailed it! Boo! Distance learning bus, ladies and gentlemen. Cruising around, talking about the best things about distance learning. And today, I'm looking for somebody that can jump in and talk about distance learning with me. Um, hmm, I see a couple people walking on the road up here. Hello, sir, how are you? Hi, how are you? Uh, let me pull over here, there's a guy up here. Just got to pull over. This is right in front of Elkhorn Valley High School, too. Look at these beautiful new buildings over here. This is gorgeous. I'm pulling into this little driveway here. Hi, sir. Uh, it's Brent Ford with the Distance Learning Bus. Uh, are you available to take a ride? Sure. Hey, Mr. Ford. How's it going? Oh, my God. It's Paul Dontremont. Hey, how's Paul? it going? I didn't even recognize you with your mask on. Get hey, in here, man. On. Let me get on in. Hey, virtual yeah. high five. Yeah. There you go. Nice well, to see you. Dude, hey, I, just, I didn't expect you to be down yeah, here in front of Elkhorn Valley High School. Thanks. I'm just checking out the school. It looks beautiful. Oh, man. So and happy. You see these new buildings? I mean, you have a vested interest in this campus, I know, because you were the principal here. Yes. For many years. Yes. You were the vice principal here for many years. Mm -hmm. And when I started teaching here 23 years ago, you were a teacher already here at Elkhorn Valley High School. That's right. A lot of, a lot of great times here at Elkhorn Valley High School. The school has a, a special place in my heart for sure. I'll bet it does. I'll bet it does. And, and now you've moved on to uh, a, a new job recently? That's right. I'm an assistant superintendent of Ed Services. Now, very, very proud. When to, I heard to... that, I went to the local media sources and I was like looking up information, news about this. I wanted to read about it. Uh -huh. And I found out some information. I need you to clarify something. Okay. True or false, you turned down an NFL career <laughs> to be the assistant superintendent for the Grossmont Union High School District. Yes. Is that true or false? Yeah. These people want to know. <laughs> Come on, guys, tell yeah, us. Sure. Yeah, you heard the Chargers left San Diego. <laughs> uh, and when they did, all the water boys quit, so they, they were looking for water boys. And, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, you were going to be the uh, water boy? Yeah, they said they turned me down, though. They said we wouldn't take, they wouldn't take anybody over 50, so that was that. Well, I, I think you made the right choice uh, because we need we need good leadership for the Grosmont Union yes. High School District. Um, you know, I just met the superintendent, Teresa Kemper. Yes, and, I saw. And and now you're on the distance learning bus. Yes. Dude, distance learning. You're you're kind of helping to lead this charge on distance learning. And I got to say, we are doing a great job. Yeah, we're we are very proud of the work that we have done around distance learning. You know, fortunately, through our Future Forward initiative and a lot of the technology that we had been working on over this last several years, the transition wasn't as big a climb for us as it may yeah, have been. Yeah. But that being said, you know, we still believe that obviously having students on campus, face to face sure. with us is, is the way to, way to go when we can do it safely. And that's the whole thing is, is can we keep this whole situation safe, right? Yeah. And I think that's the biggest thing that I'm, I'm finding out about distance learning is mm -hmm. students love it, mm -hmm. teachers love it, we're all safe, and when we're ready to go back, when this whole pandemic thing is like out the window, then it'll be, it'll be good. And, and kids will have you know, the grades that they mm -hmm. need to, to get back into the classroom, the whole nine yards. So talk to me, is there anything in the future coming up? Well, with yes, time? big announcement. Well, I mean, is this breaking news? Breaking right news. So breaking. We, we just Guys, made tune it. in right now. <laughs> tune in to Distance Learning Hey, Post. you over there, yeah. tune in. <laughs> you and the apricot sandals. <laughs> you at Dixie Line. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we, Line, so we are, we are, we are going to be reopening our schools the week of September 28th. 
So two Wait weeks, a minute. Two weeks from today. <laughs> two weeks from today, Mr. Ford, you will have students in your in your classroom. That's great news. Tuesday the 29th, yeah. That is great news. Obviously, Tell me more about this. Well, as you, as you know, we're going to be moving to level two where we're going to be bringing back small groups of students, okay. about 25% of our students each day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We okay. still are going to have a significant number of students. Yeah. Um, you know, we gave them the choice to choose distance learning or blended learning. We okay. still have a lot of families that chose uh, distance learning, which you know, we we totally understand that. Right. You know, we are we're we're dealing with yeah, a lot of some people will still will feel safer. Yeah, doing a that, lot right? of uncertainty. So okay. we're going to keep keep working to try to support our community. That's great, and and I love the that you give them the option mm -hmm. to to do either or. I imagine you can't just jump between you know one day I'm on distance learning, one day I'm on. You know what? I don't know how how, how we resolve Yeah, that's that. that's a great that's a great question. Maybe, maybe the, that's you can't just schools. make an on the spot decision. You know, right. I'm gonna move yeah. from blended to distance or distance sure. to blended. You do have to work through your school administration okay. and your in your guidance office to to make that happen. But yeah. you know, we will we will try to accommodate families as best we can to to meet their needs. That's awesome, and and you know. Maybe the next episode we do on this thing is the reopening dirt learning uh, bus. You I know? think that or, would be great. Or, or something when we start rolling this out. But I'm fired up about this. I can't wait to get back in the classroom and, mm -hmm. and, and get together with my students and work on projects and things like this. But I gotta say, students are doing projects right mm -hmm. now from mm -hmm. home and I, and I think it's really cool. Yeah, I think our teachers have done an amazing job in adapting, you know, to, to meet the needs of our students in, in, in very difficult situation, you know, very di uh, difficult times. Uh, that being said, we, you know, we, we need to get students back on campus so that we can, they can be working with each other, they can be working with you. You know, uh, some of our students, while they're experiencing success or feeling very isolated, yep. and just being around uh, their, their friends and their teachers, we know is going to be, uh, be very very beneficial to them Brent. Well we uh, we at Oklahoma Valley High School are super pumped that you guys are providing us with the supports and the leadership that kind of rolls all this stuff out and we are following along and doing everything that we we need to be doing that, that you guys are telling us to do so thank you and and that's huge. Man. Thank you. Um, you, you ever do any singing? Uh, in the uh, choir I've, been like a, I've, I've done a faculty follies bit or two. Okay, yeah. yeah. How, how do you feel about singing the little distance learning bass? Uh, I'll, I'll do my best to follow along, Mr. Ford. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, uh, one of our favorite teachers uh, at Oklahoma Valley High School, Vicki St. John, wrote some lyrics. Yeah, Miss St. John. Uh, go Avid. Yeah, there we yeah. go. Go Avid. Uh, here we go. You want to kick it off or you want me to? Uh, I think you should. Okay, let's, let's do it. One, two, three, four. Get on the, the distance, distance learning bus. bus. Come on along and learn with, with us. us. Distance Put learning is the place to be. Me. Come on down to ECV. Distance learning bus. Come on along and learn with us. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Dodgermont, the man with a thousand nicknames. I didn't even say one of them. <laughs> thanks, Mr. Ford. Dude, thanks for virtual, being on. virtual Knuckles. I love it. <laughs> thanks for being here.